Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Tuesday evening and this evening we are talking about going forward. Um, and the reason we're talking about that is because today was my mother's 80th birthday. Mm -hmm. So huge happy birthdays to mum. Um, Kathleen and I went through to see her, um, took her some presents and cards and the care home had cake and flowers and stuff so we were singing happy birthday and all that so that was done today um and as we were traveling back kathleen and i were talking about you know what's been happening in the last few years how we got through it etc and i thought yep i need to make sure that as i get older I've got everything in place so Kathleen is not doing the same sort of scrabbling around that I've had to do. Um, so I need to get paperwork in place, I need to go and see the lawyers etc. That will all be done within the next while because I need to finalise the care home fee payments etc. So once that's done then we'll get all that done but also is <clears throat> looking to see where she gets the information she needs so if you saw a video way back i did the little red book of resilience which is available on amazon basically i made it for myself um, and it's got pages for your bank your doctor you know your pharmacy your lawyer things like that just pertinent information that may be needed if something happens um, I also have set up lever arch files. I've got one for Kathleen, one for me, one for mum and dad. Um, and it just means that important paperwork is where it should be and it's in one place so that if we need it, we can get it. Because on numerous occasions, I have put something in a safe place. And it turns out I have more than one safe place in this house. So it had to be sorted that we could get everything that we needed in one place so that if anything happened Kathleen could get to it relatively quickly or she would at least know where to look um <laughs> i mean i know it's i don't mean this to sound as if i'm thinking something bad's going to happen to me but i am accident prone and when we were talking about it, Kathleen's like, yeah, when I was walking down the hill with the dog, I slipped, so I sat down so I didn't hurt myself. When my foot went away from underneath me, she'd have broken something and been stuck up a hill. It's like, yeah, I would have. So that's, that's what we're looking for, is just in case I am ill or something needs to be done, is making sure that Kathleen can find what is needed without a big rigmarole. Um, also, that's, as I've said before, that's why I'm decluttering because I intend moving to a smaller place when I'm older, once I've stopped working. Um, and I remember trying to clean out mum and dad's place. I mean, they hadn't cleared out much from my grandparents' time. So there was a lot to do and I really don't want to be doing that again when I'm moving. So, yeah, moving forward, I am ticking boxes, getting stuff done. Um, making making things easier for myself and for Kathleen. Um, so that is what I've been thinking of today. Um, what has also happened is my darling man Patrick has sorted out a new phone for me um, because the intention was I would go and see mum and then nip through to Perth but it was going to be rather tight for the shop being open so Patrick, bless his little cotton socks, he went and got me the phone and brought it out before I went to Mum's. So when I came home from work and Kathleen and I were sorting out the presents and stuff, Patrick brought me the phone so it was charging while I was away. So this is the first video with the new phone. So please let me know what you think. Um, make sure, I'm just hoping that everything's okay. Obviously you can hear sound effects from the dog um, and that's Kathleen coming down the stairs as well just if you hear noises. So yeah, let me know how it goes. And I will go and get this uploaded and catch you later. <laughs> 